You know, people feel like victims all the time. And I'm so tired of the mentality out there. The latest thing I've been seeing is cultural appropriation. Can't nobody wear this. They can't nobody wear their hair like this. Uh, I saw some idiot talking about some skateboarder that got beat up, shouldn't have wore dreadlocks. I mean, where do you draw the line with shit? I mean, if you're so concerned with cultural appropriation, fuck, stop drinking, you know, coffee because it comes from East Africa and the Middle East. Stop drinking tea because it comes from India. Stop eating noodles because it comes from China. And yet way before pasta, it came from there. Stop eating corn because the Mesoamerican Indians are responsible for maize, so stop eating corn. I mean, where the fuck do you draw the lines? You know, stop using a car, stop doing this, stop. Someone created it. When you live in the human world, stop being such a fucking victim. Yes, shit has happened in life. Yes, people were enslaved. Yes, absolutely, you know, there was colonization. There's different racist views and tendencies. But if you're so hell-bent on complaining about every little thing, I got word and news for you. The world isn't fair. The world looks at me, my name. Oh my God, is he a Muslim? Oh my God, look at him, he looks this way. I don't give a flying fuck. Because at the end of the day, it's about me and what I could do. And the less you focus about being a victim, now, just the other fucking day, you know, I'm sitting in a multi-million dollar building right now. Across the street, a fucking listing came up. And I swear to you, two of my CEOs for the company, these are well-educated women leaders. They have master's degrees. They've been in all kinds of amazing jobs. We're standing outside of a building, right? And the dude comes up and he looks at us he says, I forgot my keys. And the guy, you know, starts to talk to us. And when he found out that we just got the building across the street, mysteriously, he found his keys. And mysteriously, he showed us the unit. Shit like that happens. That doesn't mean, oh, I start crying about someone's racial views or their racist tendencies or all that. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm going to be motivated to do better because what's crying about it going to get me? I don't look at stuff like that. So all this cultural appropriation, somebody can't wear braids. I guess you can't wear, you know, dreadlocks because uh, yogis in India wear it. Uh, whatever. You know, live your life and stop being a bitch about every time someone complains or every time someone says a racist remark, I'm gonna just be up in arms and blah, blah, blah. Stop worrying about this, this is 2023. And for all of you motherfuckers that are bigots and racists and all that, grow the fuck up because times are changing. And for all you motherfuckers that use it as a crutch, be about it and stop complaining but rather be motivated to be and work extra hard. So what if you have to work harder than everybody else to get to an equal playing field? There is no equal. There's always going to be someone, even among your own kind, that doesn't like you or appreciate you for whatever. It could be your hair texture, the fact that you ain't got no hair on your head, whatever it is, it's never equal. And start to teach the next generation that life ain't fair. What is fair is for you to work as hard as possible to match your potential because your potential is greater than any other limit out there. Peace.